Hey guys, I have an awesome idea for a Tetris machine with magnets, clay, cardboard and a Lego engine. It's one of these projects which I wanted to do for years and now I have seen the trailer for the Tetris movie on Apple TV and I got encouraged by this to create my own Tetris machine. This is cardboard, lightweight cardboard, and I will simulate with a magnet how the whole mechanism will work. We put some magnets underneath and look at that. We have some movable tetrominos. Are they called tetrominos? I think so. Okay, we put aside the 10 times 20 base plate, the pattern which you see, and work on the mechanism. The idea which we are working right now is to make a movable paper stripe and <laughs> with the magnets on top of the paper layer, we hopefully get some movable tetrominos. Let's see if this works. This is also the paper loop which you already have seen from my YouTube shorts. And we attach now the magnets with a very lightweight tiny magnet underneath and two bigger strong square magnets on top of it. But first of all, let's build a structure, a frame for the rolling paper loop. And we make it movable by using the Lego engine. It's one of these LEGO engines where you can change the direction of the movement, but also the speed. But before we work on the features, we have a problem to solve. As the LEGO engine also includes a very strong magnet, it interferes with the tetrominos rolling down. The solution is quite simple. We put it to the left side, and now it shouldn't be interfering with the magnets from the tetrominos anymore. Let's test it. It already looks quite fascinating seeing these movable cardboard tetrominos moving. Let's give it four feet so that I don't have to hold it anymore. And the belt is still running so that we can change the color and make it a little bit more beautiful. Making it black and in the meantime hit the bell, subscribe if you haven't. Don't miss future improvements on my Tetris machine. While working on this paper loop, I had another idea. A pretty good one. What if we could adjust the speed of the game by using the LEGO engine and also a lever? By using a spring, we get a very satisfying movement, if we don't miss the lever. And it's springing back in its first position. And for the first time ever, we can see the tetromino, the yellow one, the square one, moving. And I try to stop it. Woohoo! Okay, it's not that satisfying. Let's create another layer on top. Whoa. <laughs> I take a very tiny magnet underneath and we put another cardboard layer on top. And look at that, it's moving! The tetro... okay. The tetromino um, is moved by the magnets underneath from the belt. Ah, But it's not really predictable. Let's create a frame and a stronger layer on top to create the best circumstances ever for the movement. Look at that! It's working! I can't believe it. I'm so glad to finally show this to you. Okay, now that we can stop the tiny tetromino, we can also maybe move it with a magnet underneath. And this is also working. I can't believe it. How do we make a mechanism out of this? Maybe using a funnel to collect the magnet or another lever? I think this is the way to go, but we still need to create an easy-to-play mechanism. Here we go. I actually had windshield wipers in my mind while creating. And let's see if we can move the magnet. This is really smooth. I'm really glad how far we got. <sighs> okay. 
What about the layer on top? This is just a piece of plexiglass and actually I really like it that you can see underneath the mechanism and also for the playing experience it's beneficial that you can see the lever moving the magnet from left to right. Just color this tiny piece black so that we have a beautiful look. With a cardboard structure on top we work on the cosmetics. All we have to do now is create another, a third hole for the base plate 10 times 20 where we can put the plexiglass underneath. Oh, oh no, it's grey. <laughs> I just rebuilt this whole thing to make it black and we can remove the protective foil from the plexiglass and start playing. Okay, something went wrong. The plexiglass was too sticky for the cardboard pieces. I am using a very old, dirty, dusty piece of glass. And this one is working, actually. It looks a bit dirty, but we can finally start working on the tetrominoes. We start with red. We bring in the clay power and create all the different shapes. For this tetromino, I think putting in the magnet will be quite simple. I'll do this before oven hardening and just stick it on top of the magnet, um, making sure that all the magnets for all the tetrominoes are aligned and have the same orientation. I'm always using the same strong magnet for underneath to place the tinier magnet on top and just sliding it to the side and use it for the next piece. It looks easy, but this was tons of work. <laughs> and still satisfying. Let's work on the funnel, which will present all the tetrominoes and deliver the pieces while playing. It works like a slide. And while the magnet will take away the very first tetrominoes at the beginning of the playing field, the other ones will slide down and will start a movement. Yeah, this is working. Now let's bring in the magnet action. <laughs> um, it's not working. Why is it not working? They are too heavy. Let's take the cardboard piece. The cardboard piece is working. The clay is too heavy or the magnets are not strong enough. We make the slide a little bit stronger and elevate it. It's still not working. I can't believe it. Okay, be rational. What shall we do? We could make the magnet from underneath stronger or higher. That the distance to the tetrominus isn't that much. It's still not working. Oh, I would have loved to play. Okay, I have an idea. Be rational and work on the improvements. Yeah, cardboard is working. But just one last try. Putting in a stronger magnet into the clay pieces. It's the last chance. Stronger magnet for underneath. <laughs> Shortening the distance to the tetrominoes with another layer of magnets still not working. Maybe the surface is too sticky. I can't believe it. Okay, one last idea to make it really smooth on the glass and use these sliders for furniture. Let's see if it works. Where's the magnet? 
It's underneath. It's too high. It got stuck. One last chance. If something isn't working in your clay projects, you shouldn't despair. But calmly think about it, how you can improve it. <laughs> Maybe we should say goodbye to the beautiful transparency layer and use paper instead. <laughs> Cutboard is working, clay not. Be rational. Improve it. <sighs> Much better. <laughs> Cardboard it is. If you have any solution which could have solved my clay tetrominos problem because they were too heavy, let me know. Leave it down in the comments. Meanwhile, I will work on the cardboard tetrominus. I created six of each kind and now we will also fill in the magnets which have worked before and slide it to the side. Use the same strong magnet underneath for all pieces for all tetrominoes so that they are all aligned and the orientation is working. And now we can fill them in into the tetromino funnel which will provide us with the uh, play pieces <laughs> game on with my clay boy the pieces are moving it's such a pleasure to to play this right now and it's actually a challenge putting them all together they are coming piece by piece whoops this is level 10 now <laughs> yeah! Honestly, I feel like a pro. Tetris master of the universe. Oh, this is too much. This is too fast. <laughs> too many. <laughs> Woo! This is still a clay tutorial. I don't want to read any comments saying, oh, he didn't use any clay in this video. Because I did. Hit the bell, subscribe, and two more videos for you. Have an amazing week and weekend. Bye.